What's up, everybody? Josh back here with another one. Uh, this is our final Survivor Series program review for the year. Uh, today, we're taking you to 1991. Uh, 1991, always uh, a real important year for me because that was the year, uh, the first year that I started watching wrestling religiously, man, to be honest with you. Um, not going to lie, though, this wasn't one of my favorite Survivor Series uh, there's numerous reasons for it, um, but let's get right into this program. Uh, it says the WWF Thanksgiving time tradition, Survivor Series. Uh, Wednesday, November 27th, 1991, the Gravest Challenge. Um, this was the first Survivor Series that was on Thanksgiving Eve, a matter of fact. Um, and then down here on the headstone, it says also teams... Headed by Ric Flair and Rowdy Piper, Sid Justice and the Snake, and much more. So let's jump right on into this program. We have the typical just say no and all these. Ring scene, we got talking about the Survivor Series, of course. It's the Anvil. Big Bully Busick. Got a Bret Hart WWF report. I'm um, just flipping on through here. Remember having both of these back in the day when I was a kid. Um, we got Ric Flair. This is right after he came to the WWF for the first time. Targets Hot Rod and Hawk. Natural Disasters, Doomsday for the Legion. And then Survivor Series. Here's the introduction. Just kind of goes over um, the build-up to the main matches, the feuds, etc. And let's pop on in here. Um, first off, we have the Gravest Challenge. We have Hulk Hogan putting the WWF title on the line against The Undertaker. Uh, this was a big deal back in the day. Um, this is a, you know, Undertaker would win the belt uh, one year after debuting in the company. Um, he would actually, at this point, be the youngest WWF champion um, until Yokozuna would win the belt at WrestleMania 9. I didn't know that until I looked up some facts about the show. Uh, so, yeah, man, big time. Um, and Hogan actually got injured in this match. I don't know about that. It seemed like it was a little dramatic, but they say he really got hurt. But I didn't see what Undertaker actually did to him, to be honest with you. I thought Taker took care of him pretty good. But yeah, that was the big buildup for this show, was this match. Alright, then we got team matches. This is where, the, where this show really just confuses me. One of the main problems, I'll go ahead and tell you, that I have for this show... Is they didn't focus on Survivor Series 91. Um, they focused on uh, Tuesday in Texas, the event afterwards. So to me, it just kind of... Survivor Series 91 was just another show. Teams here, we have Legion of Doom, Big Boss Man, and Sid Justice. First, uh, the Natural Disasters, IRS, and Jake Roberts. Many of you know uh, Jake Roberts wouldn't be in this match because of the, the snake beating Randy Savage. Um, and instead of having Savage take Sid's place like it should have been, they go ahead and have a main event or a big match at the Tuesday in Texas, uh, which I just thought was stupid, and I thought it was fucking ignorant to have a three-on-three -three Survivor Series match. Just dumb as hell. Uh, just dumb. Um, so, yeah. Just crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. Uh, 91 Survivor Series was also supposed to, uh, finish like 90 Survivor Series. They were supposed to have like a grand finale Survivor Series match. And, uh, after seeing the guys that won the Survivor Series matches in 91, thank God, thank God that they didn't, because that would have been awful. But, uh, yeah, there's the teams there, as we said. Uh, then they go straight into more catalog i've showed this a million times on all these i'm just going to kind of go through these faster 
We got t-shirts. Hats, posters, you know the deal. You've seen them before. Backpacks. If you're my age, you probably have one of these. <laughs> it's a really thin program if you haven't noticed. All right, we got more matches here. All right. We have... Captain Hot Rod Rowdy Piper, Brett the Hitman Hart Virgil, and British Bulldog versus Captain Ric Flair, Million Dollar Man, Warlord, and the Mountie. Um, all these guys had some sort of feud with each other. If I remember correctly, Ric Flair uh, ends up being the sole survivor. Um, and he actually, uh, people, some people know, may, may know this, some people don't, but a lot of people think he had the big gold belt that night when they blurted it out, but it's actually one of the golden era, uh, WWF tag team titles. Um, but yeah, this was the opening match. If I remember correctly, it wasn't a bad match. Just kind of a silly ass finish. If you ask me. All right. Then we have a kind of a survivor series match for 1991. And it's just kind of thrown together, let's be honest. We have Jim Duggan, Texas Tornado, Jim the Anvil Nightheart, and the Dragon, Ricky Steamboat, versus Captain Colonel Mustafa, the Berserker, Big Bully Music, and Skinner. Um, Ricky Steamboat's not in this match. He leaves the company... Right before, apparently he didn't want to put the Undertaker over. I don't know the real story. Um, but El Matador Tito Santana replaces him. And Big Bully Busick is replaced by Hercules. Hercules always found a, a way to get on a, the big pay-per-view card somehow, some way. So shout out to him. Uh, and Duggan would end up being the sole survivor uh, on, this, on this match. I mean, these matches, 91, there's really not a lot to talk about. Just really uh, Survivor Series that was really rushed. And they just made it not feel important because all they talked about was Tuesday night in Texas. I'm just being honest. We got a Hulk Hogan ad here for vitamins. Brother. All right, another Survivor Series match. We have the Rockers and the Bushwhackers versus the Nasty Boys and the Beverly Brothers. I believe the Nasty Boys and the Beverly Brothers survived i could be wrong the main thing i remember in this match is uh this is really when you see these two really about done with each other um and grill the monsoon apparently from what i read didn't even know anything about the damn angle uh, really didn't put it over apparently but that's really what i remember from that match uh to be honest with you and we have sid justice Promises Revenge. Virgil, the millionaire. They're winning the million dollar belt at SummerSlam 91. Of a double dragon ad. The big boss man out to do a number. The Beverly Brothers focus on the Bushwhackers. A video game ad here. So. And there's the there's the card. Like I said, this show not very good. Out of the first five Survivor Series, it finishes fifth. Um, it's not very good at all. Um, the buy rate, if I remember, there's like a thirty percent difference from ninety and ninety one downward. So, but um, there's all the matches there. Like I said, not a whole lot of matches. If you go back and look at the Survivor Series from 87, 88, 89, 90, just look at the difference in the guys on the card compared to this one. It's about a fourth of what's usually on the card. Just saying. Um, and this was really the last one where they focused on teams, if I remember correctly. After that, they had a lot more single matches. But I just wanted to review this uh, Survivor Series 91 program. Not one of my favorite Survivor Series by a long shot, but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and review it for you guys. I hope you, I probably won't be making another video before Thanksgiving, so if I don't, y'all have a good, a happy Thanksgiving and take care of each other, man. 
I'm out. Peace.